This audio series is the property of the radio advertising people. Use of this audio is restricted and permission must be sought before use. This audio series is rated 80. Contains strong language. Parental guidance is advised. Episode 1. A couple of weeks ago, I called Sarah. I'm sorry I never informed you on how our conversation went. But before I tell you that, I need you to understand something. A lot of you will seek revenge on Sarah. She's the cause of all this. Sarah leaking my photos to Rodney has ended me up here today. Since the beginning of this story, it has been Mami narrating everything. In the beginning, when you had her flirting with Derek and having sex with Rodney, you rained insult on her. Now you all love her. Hypocrites. Maybe if you gave me the chance to also narrate, all the insults will suddenly turn into glory. But I will still call you all hypocrites. Wait till you get in my shoes. Sarah. Hello, mommy. Are you ever going to forgive me? Ever? <sighs> when are you going to let this go? What you have done to me, I will never forget. And for as long as I live, I'll make sure you suffer for it. But Sewa, we spoke about this. You have always been my best friend. From class one till now. Why, why would you still do this to me? The pain I'm living with can never be watered down. I'm deeply cut and wounded, mommy. And I want you to go by every day with no remorse or guilt. How is that even possible? And every time I see you smile, I see the pain he went through. You are the evil one, mommy. What? Sarah, you think I intended for all this to happen? You think I wanted any of this? Now, look at me. There's been rape and pregnancy. Don't get me wrong. I never planned any rape on you. Rodney is the cause of that. I never asked him to have sex with you. That was entirely his plan. Mame. Sarah. You never even contributed a penny to the burial. Not a dime. I swore you were going to pay for this somehow. And that was the reason why I made Rodney take the money from you. Sarah, I don't have money. You know mommy's condition. We couldn't afford it. How could you be so wicked? How could you also be so heartless? How could you? He died because of you, mommy. I lost Kwame because of you. He loved you, mommy. <laughs> it was difficult for me. Extremely. Sewa, we were in SS2. And you were so full of yourself. You thought you had it all. All the boys on your case. Kwame loved you. And who said I didn't love him back? We had a simple argument. Simple? You call your argument simple. Simple to the extent he committed suicide. Sewa, every relationship has problems. And Kwame didn't have the right to do what Don't he did. Don't tell me about what right he had or didn't. He killed himself because he felt he didn't love him back. And if you didn't, why then did you get into Who it in the first place? I didn't place? love him back. Kwame broke my virginity when I was in SS1. I was 16. If I didn't love him, why would I have given my virginity to him? You can't fault me for this. I have apologized a thousand times. Thought we had moved on past this. Moved on? You see, you have moved on because it's easy for you to. I'm in the grave with my twin brother and I will not move on. Not today, not tomorrow. My parents will never forgive you. Who said so? <laughs> it is you who is so angry and mad at me. Not a single day passes without me thinking about Kwame. Not a single day passes without me reading his suicide notes. You think I don't miss him? Your actions killed my only brother. You have taken my blood away from me. And you think you can just walk away from this? Sewa, what are you doing to us? Nothing you do will bring him back. No amount of pain you inflict on me would bring him back to life. Until I find comfort in my heart, mommy. Look at what your actions have caused me. My dreams have been shattered. I can't continue schooling. I don't even know how to break the news to my mom. I'm pregnant. Like I said, being raped wasn't my plan. I am sorry it has happened. Sorry? 
Yes, sorry, but I will not worry my head over this. Just as you never worried your head over my brother, Kwame was my everything. You never cared. After the barrier, I checked your page. All you posted was your face and the dress and tagging your makeup artist. Sawa, I didn't mean it like that. Like, like, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. But Sewa, see what you have done to me. You think having sex with Rodney was an easy thing for me to do? You are lucky I chose your ex-boyfriend. You are so lucky it wasn't a complete stranger. Lucky? You call my ex-boyfriend fucking me and extorting money from me lucky? Now I am pregnant. Almost three months. I'm going to have a baby and I don't even know who the father is. Look, mommy. In the first place, the intention was never to have Rodney fuck you. He was just supposed to scare you with the naked photos. It was his decision entirely to have sex with you and share your pictures with others. I never asked him to. It still doesn't justify what you have done, Sewa. Having a child comes with a lot of sacrifice. And I'm not ready. I'm not mentally and financially ready for this. Then why haven't you aborted it? This is nothing compared to what I have planned for you. You know what? I'm moving out of the room. And really... You were my best friend. I have never kept any negativity in my heart after Kwame died. Yes, because it wasn't your loss. Mame, just wait till you lose someone close to you. I don't wish that upon you, but maybe you understand me better someday. Kwame was the first guy that I allowed to touch me. I loved him too. So you think? Now my brother is gone. Gone forever. So uh, nothing can be compared to what you have done to me. I will carry this stigma of rape for the rest of my life. And nothing can be compared to what you have done to me. I will never see my brother again for the rest of my life. I guess you have gotten what you wanted now. I can't continue schooling anymore. I'm leaving. Bah, Sewa. I hope you find it in your heart to forgive me and let's go. I loved Kwame too. I can't bring him back to life. I don't want to see you ever again. I ceased being your friend years ago. I guess we have to go our separate ways. That was the end of us. I never planned rape for mommy. For the pain she has equally caused me, I cannot easily let go. Same as she cannot easily let go of the guys who raped her. Every day, I read my brother's last message. His voice plays in my thoughts every minute. I remember his last phone call before he drank DDT. He called me crying on phone and said, I love you, sis. I love you very much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And screamed his last breath and died. He was pronounced dead on arrival. His lifeless body was in my arms. I love him and I miss him. Until the day we meet again. Until the day we meet again, my first love. I cannot erase this pain from Sewa. All I can do is to walk away. She is bitter and hurt. I cannot judge her actions. She posted the suicide note of her brother on her IG, Sewa Unleaked, and tagged me, Mommy Unleaked. I have a much bigger fight ahead of me. Finding the father of my child and the boys who did this to me, I'm keeping my baby. I'm keeping my baby.